sure this isn't something money can't solve? What the fuck? Hi, and welcome back. This year will be many great animated movies to choose from, as we count down to the release of some of the most highly animated movies of 2022. Here's a look at the top 10 that are sure to be hits with audiences of all ages. So grab some popcorn and get ready for a fun-filled ride. Number 10. Apollo 10 1 2. A Space Age Childhood. The story of the first moon landing Oak Ridge, Tennessee, in summer 1969, from two intertwined perspectives. Both catch the excitement seeker and the control person's perspective. Plus, the child's point of view, living near NASA, overcoming mostly seeing the events on TV like hundreds of millions of others. It's essentially an exact replica of the heartfelt mission experience as well as a child's fantasizing about being taken from his typical life in suburbia and going into the background so as to secretly train for a specialized mission to the upper atmosphere. Apollo 10 1 2 A Space Age Childhood has a 7.3 rating in IMDb and a 4 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. I need a kid like you to test this accidentally smaller version on the lunar surface and soon. Stan, you're our only hope. Okay. Number 9. Rise of the Guardians. Along with generation after generation, the immortal guardians such as Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, and the Tooth Fairy protect the world's children from darkness and misery. Yet, an evil boogeyman named Pitch Black schemes to overthrow them by abruptly reducing children's belief in them. Jack Frost, a winter character, throws Pitch's plans into disarray and helps the guardians avoid destruction. Rise of the Guardians has a 7.2 rating in IMDb and 80 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. We go by many names and take many forms. We bring wonder. Number eight, Turning Red. According to her mother, Fei Fei's favorite legend is about the Chang's goddess who dwells on the full moon. She was expecting to run into Hu Yai on the full moon, but her infant body colleagues were expressive of their feelings to the young man instead. Fei is in for an unpleasant surprise. Then, as if that weren't enough, her doting father catches her off guard by making an announcement that would forever change her life. Fei Fei is then set to make a homemade rocket as well as to blast off into space in an effort to save him. Can there be true love everlasting? Turning Red has a 7.0 rating in IMDb and a 72 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Mama's girls. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Number 7. Mirai. The movie follows a four-year-old boy who's welcoming the arrival of a fresh relative departs from course. A mysterious garden near the backyard of the house is a gateway through which the boy transforms and finds himself as a young boy. He also revisits parts of his youth as a young man and as his mother. These fantasy-filled adventures allow him to change his perspective and develop into the older sibling he was meant to be. Marai has a 7.0 rating in IMDb and a 79 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Number 6. Wish Dragon Din, a working-class college student with little means and long, a cynical but all-powerful dragon capable of granting wishes, set off on an adventure through modern-day Shanghai in pursuit of Din's long-lost childhood friend, Lina. Many of the world's biggest questions emerge by way of their travels, because the traveler might be interrogative of choice selection. He has to decide what exactly is essential. Wish Dragon has a 7.2 rating in IMDb and a 79 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Great master, the heavens have opened. Your wish will be... Oh, a peasant boy. Well, this will be easy. Number 5. The Witcher, Nightmare of the Wolf. Contrasting to The Witcher, the world of this story was actually as outlandish, and as a result it features all the trappings of an excellent adventure. Deserts, castles, fishmen, pirates, dragons, etc. A young boy became a surlid Marilyn, renowned as Geralt the Witcher, when he saved his native kingdom from a great beast. Back then, the world tore itself wide open. Monsters would kill lest they intrude upon the populace. The Witcher, 
Nightmare of the Wolf has a 7.2 rating in IMDb and a 83 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. They're going to poison us. They'll kill us, then bring us back, but we won't be normal. I get scared too. Then I think... Number 4. The Sea Beast. An era when fierce beasts threatened the seas spurred the popularity of monster hunters, which no matter how beloved Jacob Holland was, nobody could compare to young Maisie Brumble. When the young heroine smuggled himself into his beloved vessel, however, Jacob proved to be a surprising ally. Together, they embark on an epic journey into uncharted waters and make history. This story takes us to where the map ends, and the true adventure begins. The Sea Beast has a 7.1 rating in IMDb, and AMDb an 85 percentage in audience score in Row 10 Tomatoes. There was a time when sea beasts would ravage our shores, and no ship was safe on the sea. Number 3. A Whisker Away Mio Sasaki is an odd second-year junior high student who loves her classmate Kento Hinoda Nainu. Mug tries to make Kento kind to her every day, but all to no avail. However, while hiding a secret that she can learn only by herself, Mug continues to love Kento all the same. Muj anxiously discovers a magical mask that gives her the power to transform into a cat. In such a case also, there is the hypothetical scenario in which she becomes an animal forever. A Whisker Away has a 6.7 rating in IMDb and a 76 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Number 2. Niza. The Primus extracts a mixed yuan bead into a spirit bead and a demon bead. The spirit bead can be reincarnated in human to help King Zhu establish a new dynasty. The demon bead will create a devil and harm human. Neza is the one who should be spirit bead hero, but he becomes a devil incarnate because the spirit bead and the demon bead is switched. Neza has a 7.4 rating in IMDb and a 98 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. Number 1. I Lost My Body In a fast-paced laboratory in Paris, a severed hand extricates itself from the unfortunate fate of feeling like the pedestrian that it happens to be by traveling with a steady gait and using its intellect to beat out vermin along the way. After a robust escapade through the city, the extremity fends off pigeons and rats alike to meet up with pizza boy Naofel. Its memories of Naofel and his fondness for the librarian Gabrielle may provide insight into the origin of the hand's fracture and provide an answer to the question of whether or not there could be a chance to reconcile between the two. I Lost My Body has a 7.5 rating in IMDb and a 83 percentage in audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. And that's all for today. Give me a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. See you next time. Goodbye.